guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to do a quick unboxing of my Sigma brushes that I ordered now I've never purchased anything from Sigma have never purchased any brushes from Sigma um, but I came across a 50% off discount code on Instagram not too long ago and I was like I really want to try Sigma brushes. I've been wanting to try them, but they are out of my price range. So when I saw that 50% off, I was like, now's your chance. <laughs> so of course I took advantage of the discount, went ahead and ordered me a set. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do a quick little unboxing with you guys, show you what I got and let you take a look at them. Some of you guys might already have some of these brushes. Some of you might not. So just wanted to do it with you guys so they did put inside the box I already opened up the mailing box and you know put it in the recycle bin but they did send a couple of freebies with my order okay <laughs> the first one is this cute little brush here it says the e65 small angle travel brush so it's in this cute little carton here and <laughs> it's very tiny cute little travel brush it says that it's angled thin with a firm head that's what she said <laughs> anyway so yeah this is what it looks like very cute cute little travel brush and i would definitely use this for like my brows for the most part but i guess you could use it to like you know place shadow on your lower lash line or to even create a nice smoky eyeliner on your lid so yeah very very cute put that in my travel case nice little freebie there and they also sent uh, a sample of their sig magic brush shampoo <laughs> so it's in this very holographic package here. There's just like, you know, you can feel a little bit of brush shampoo in there. So I will definitely try this out and see how it works. Although I have found an excellent brush cleaner. I got the tip from Andrea Renee and she's always talking about that African black soap. And so I went ahead and ordered some and that stuff is amazing. Okay, just FYI. So also in the box, they sent a little brochure, which, you know, shows their brushes. It also shows um, other products that they sell. Um, it looks like blush, contour, highlights, some eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners and whatnot, lip products. I don't even know if I really knew that Sigma sold all that kind of stuff. I don't think I did. But it also has like all of their brushes here in the brochure so maybe if there's a brush you know a specific brush that i'm looking for and i feel like spending an arm and a leg <laughs> i could go ahead and pick one up although there is something to be said about quality brushes okay so the set that i picked up is the sigma premium kit and this has 15 brushes in it face and eye brushes and it retailed i believe for 200 dollars and with the 50% off, they took it down to $100. So still a lot, still pricey. <laughs> but, you know, everybody's always talking about Sigma brushes this and Sigma brushes that. So we're going to find out, okay? So let me just take this out of the box. And on the back of the box, it does list all of the brushes. I don't know if you can see that because of the ring light. But it does list all of the brushes that are in my kit oh very nice so this is what it looks like oh my gosh you guys this feels really nice <laughs> it feels really nice very nice quality but this is what it looks like and what it says on the front there so this is a premium professional kit sigma beauty professional brushes very nice so this is what it looks like you know the little case all the way around so let me go ahead and unzip it and oh nice when you open it up this is what it looks like so it has individual slots for the brushes of course has these really nice sturdy flaps to keep the brushes in place 
and it has two different sides. So these brushes have their own slots and slats and these have their own slots and slats. So very nice. And I can see here that all of the brushes, you know, are individually wrapped in their own little protective casing. So I must say this um, brush holder is very, very nice. I have never felt a brush holder of such nice quality ever. <laughs> I've purchased a lot of brushes in my day and this is the nicest quality for a brush holder that I have come across ever. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at these brushes. I'll show you what they look like and just tell you the numbers. Okay. Okay, so this first one here is the large powder brush, which is the F20. So this is what it looks like. And it is really, really soft. Super duper soft. And this is the size of the brush, just in case you're curious. And I do have a big head, so <laughs> for reference. This is the tapered face brush, the F25. So this is what that looks like. Very nice, it's very nice and soft as well. I could definitely see using this for like powder under my eyes, you know, cause I love that nice little point. You can really get in there with this type of brush. This is a powder slash blush brush, the F10. So this is what that looks like. And these are all just so super duper soft. Very, very nice. This one here is the Duo Fiber Powder and Blush Brush, the F15. So that's what that looks like. As you can see, it has the Duo Fibers there. This one is the Tapered Highlighter, the F35. So that's what that looks like. Perfect size for highlighting. Oh, and it's nice and soft. Perfect density for highlighting as well. This is the Large Fluff E50. That's what that looks like. I'm not sure exactly what I would use that for. It has a bit of denseness to it. So it's not super duper soft and fluffy. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe to pack powder under my eyes. I mean, it's pretty big to for my eyeshadow, but I'll figure it out. Because <laughs> I know they already have concealer brushes in here, but that's one that I could use for concealer as well. This one here, yeah, large concealer, the F65. So that is what that looks like, large concealer. And it's nice and, and firm for placing concealer, you know, under your eyes or wherever, <laughs> wherever you need to conceal. Next, we have just the concealer, the F75. So yeah, that's just your basic concealer brush. And the quality on these, you guys, is very nice. You can tell that it's pretty decent construction of the ferrule and the brush. Very, very nice. Only time will tell with me, cause y'all, I wash my brushes almost every day. <laughs> almost every time I use them, I pretty much wash them. Okay, this is the E25 blending brush. Oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, that feels like a really good blender. This one is the E35, which is the tapered blending. Tapered blending. Y'all hear my dog? Knock it off! E45 small tapered blending brush. So this is tapered as well, but it is a bit smaller. I love these type of brushes because you can just really get in that crease and go to town blending out a shadow. I love these type of brushes. Love them, love them. Next, I have the short shader, the E20. Ooh, I like these too. 
Now this type of brush I use for smudging shadow on my lower lash line. It is excellent for that because it doesn't, you know, apply too much product. You have a lot of control when you use this on your lower lash line. So I love these. Next is the flat definer, which is the E15. And that's what that looks like. So it's just a flat square brush. I really don't use these. I know a lot of people use these to clean up the concealer underneath their brows and things like that. I would probably use it to smudge shadow under my eye because I like using a round flat brush for my eyebrows, but very nice brush, very nice. This is a small eyeliner, the E10. So it's just your basic small eyeliner brush. Very, very thin. Oh, that is a nice thin tip right there. I don't know if you guys can see that really good, but it is very, very thin. Nice. Hopefully it doesn't start to fray like some other eyeliner brushes that I've had where you wash them or you put them away and they end up having hair sticking out this way and that way. So you can't even use it anymore because it's not precise anymore. And this is the lip brush. I know that because they always come with a little sleeve container and then the actual brush to where you can, you know, I can't see, but to where you can stick it in there to keep it nice and clean. But you can put it together like this you know, to use as a brush. And so this is the L05, it looks like, Sigma Lip Brush. So it's just a nice flat lip brush. Me personally, I would probably use this <laughs> to put like a shimmer on my lid or something, just because it's nice and flat and round. This might even be good for, oh no, it's not firm enough. I was going to say this might be good for a cut crease, but yeah, it's not it's not firm enough for that, but very nice. I don't like the fact that it doesn't sit in here tighter. It seems like it's a little bit too loose, but it's in there. So it's all good. Very, very nice. So that is the whole complete set that I got you guys. And I'm so, so excited to use these and play with them. I mean, they're really, really nice. So I know I'm going to hate to... <laughs> get these dirty yes i did put them all back in their sleeves and all back in their little slots until i'm ready to wash them and use them okay i'm just anal like that <laughs> but yeah so i did put them all back but this is a very very nice set you guys i'm so happy that i have it so glad i was able to catch a 50 percent off sale because that is like the bomb diggity deal and hopefully these brushes will be worth what I paid for them and last forever and ever, okay? So that's it, you guys, for this little Sigma unboxing of my brush kit. Hopefully you had a good time hanging out with me to check these out. Maybe you're thinking about getting some for yourself and wanted to see what's happening. Either way, just wanted to share it with you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you like it, girl, and you're not already part of the KK Squad, go ahead and subscribe and become a part of my family. And I will see you on the next video. Toodles!